Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do something different uh, than what I usually do in my uh, YouTube channel. I wanted to show you how I recreated two um, somewhat expensive uh, home decor pieces um, and I made mine uh, with supplies that cost me less than five dollars. So if you want to see how I made them, please keep watching. <laughs> For the first project, you would need one of these glass candle holders. I got mine from the dollar store. Uh, I know they have similar ones at the Dollar Tree. And then I found these branches at our local dollar store. They were $2 for the bunch, but it was super long and I had some leftover as well after the project. So the first thing is um, you want to lay out the, the branches or the twigs around the glass uh, candle holder and uh, looking at the distance or the height that you want just using some uh, pliers I cut the pieces of the twigs just to have the right size and then once that was done I used hot glue and I glued all the twigs around the glass um, candle holder and I just placed random sizes around and I didn't put them in specific order. I just wanted it to give that rustic and natural look. So I'm just going to place them all around. After I was done placing all the twigs around, I wanted to match the, um, the initial picture that I was trying to recreate. So I was using, I decided to use this um, twine uh, that I found at the dollar store. So I'm just using hot glue again and I'm just wrapping it around the, the bottom part of the, um, the candle holder. So I'm going to be placing hot glue and then I'll be tying that um, tightly to the base. And that's as easy as that, as that. you can create uh, the same thing for less than five dollars and this is how it looks at the end. I think it looks super rustic and it gives that natural look. Uh, I'm sure you can get different uh, looks of it uh, using different um, type of branches as well. So this is what I was able to recreate. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave my video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads. So let's take a look. We'll go ahead and uh, see how we can do the next project. For the second project, I used this mirror that I found at Dollar Tree and I'm going to um, place that on top of a foam board that I also got from uh, the Dollar Store and I'm using a pen to trace around the, the frame of the mirror and then I'm going to use a utility knife just to, um, to, to trim away and then uh, to cut around the circle. I'm then going to use uh, some wood, uh, wooden screwers that I got from the dollar store. I know you can find these at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, it's usually in the barbecue section. I got mine at the dollar store here in, in Canada. And I'm going to use um, quite a bit of them and using hot glue. I'm just going to glue it to the back of the foam. And I'm just going to place um, three of the skewers um, two horizontally and one vertically just to divide it in three sections and then I'm just going to place some more uh, skewers in between just in a random shape and then using some pliers I'm going to cut the pointy edge and I'm also going to cut them into different uh, sizes so that they're not all uh, equal in length. I'm 
I'm then going to use this uh, gold spray paint that I got at Michael's. I love this uh, spray paint. I think the gold color comes out really, really nice. And then make sure you spray paint it in a ventilated area. This is how it's going to look like once everything is spray painted. The center does not necessarily need to be fully painted. And then the mirror that you got from the Dollar Tree to remove uh, the wordings or the the, the words that are written on it, I'm just going to take something sharp. Here I'm using a, a pair of scissors and just if you're uh, slightly scrubbing it off, um, the letters will easily come off. So it took me um, about a minute uh, to take away uh, all of the letters. This is how it looks like when all of the, the words are removed. And now what I'm going to do is behind this um, frame, there's a hole uh, where you can use to hang. Um, so I'm just going to transfer that same place and with the pen, uh, with the pencil, I'm just going to poke through the foam so that I can use the same hole uh, to hang it on the wall uh, once I've um, hot glued this uh, mirror to the to my foam board. So here I'm just going to take some uh, hot glue and I'm going to glue the frame, um, the mirror frame to this uh, foam board. And this is the final look of my project. I think it looks super nice. You can have the, the skewers cut to the shape of your desire. I like the way it looks right here, but definitely you can create your own style with this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave my video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe to my channel.